It is my pleasure, my duty even, as the Paradox VTuber with the most subs, to VTuberify every Paradox game. Not even Imperator, which, mind you, hasn't been updated in like two years, gets to escape this fate. Now, just because Imperator is sitting on some shelf collecting dust at Paradox HQ doesn't mean that the game is actually dead. A dedicated set of modders have given us Imperator Invictus, which adds a whole bunch of flavor events, mission trees, that kind of thing. There's really no better way to introduce Imperator Rome than playing Rome itself. And don't worry if you have no idea what's going on, because to be frank, I have no idea what's going on either. You know, I did play on launch, and I did play 2.0, but that was a really long time ago. So, you know, we're kind of in the same boat. So first we have our mission tree. This will take a year, but it'll give us claims and a couple of military modifiers. Sounds good. Free idea slots. Uh, right. We need to match these up, don't we? Well, if we match them, then we get these things. Morale, reinforcement speed, and how about loyalty of generals? That sounds like a really good idea, considering Rome's history. <laughs> You get to pick one of these things for a couple of months, like, sure, we'll go with Mars, gives us discipline. Inventions, right, this is the tech tree stuff. Oh yeah, since we'll be invading people, I guess we could go with less aggressive expansion. Uh, that seems like a good idea. And yeah, we can put the rest in war. Right, the capital. Let's make the citizens happy. Maybe we'll get some build costs as well. Yeah, maybe some more food. Ah, uh, here comes my favorite part of playing any Paradox game. Unpausing and seeing where I messed up. Here we go, the Etruscan threat. We have a truce with these guys, right? Yeah, we do about eight years, okay. Well, in any case, it must be destroyed. No friends. Kill them all. The deceitful Umbrians. Who are these guys? Oh, up here. Uh, yeah, we'll get around to them eventually. See a lot of people building ships. Am I supposed to do that? Yeah, let me just pretend I know how the ship system works. Yep. That's just, um, hmm. That seems good. Why not? The Ramono Sabine feud. Okay, yeah, I really want to get rid of these guys. Sabinia will be erased from history. <laughs> That's a little bit aggressive. Also, uh, Rome appears to be starving a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have imported so much stone. <laughs> yeah, how about we get a little bit more food then? Okay, we have more claims against Samnium. Sounds good. We've all come together to decide that we should, in fact, own everything. Pretty solid move, I'd say. So where should we begin? Well, we have a truce, so we can't invade these guys, but we can invade them, who happen to be inv allied to Etruria. Okay, that's fine. We can probably beat these guys up, right? So, to fight, we have to raise the levies. Okay, very nice. <laughs> right, and uh, every time you occupy a province, you just take Pops as slaves. Sorry about that, but, you know, the Geneva Convention wasn't written yet, so. Ooh, we're using a lot of food. How about we go and get some more? This is gonna be a big battle, so I wanna make sure I have everybody for it. Also, we should definitely import more grain. Alright, let's do it. Seems we definitely have an advantage. Yeah, it's not even close. Surely they should realize it's like not a good idea to fight that, right? I guess not. Anyway, let's get started on this guy's capital. Uh-oh, hold on a minute. We're probably not gonna get there on time. But if we fight them before they get their men back, that's probably a good thing, right? Morale takes ages to recover in this game. Yep, there they go. God, it's not even a contest. It's, it's just sad. Here, let's go siege some stuff. Also, I don't know if navies actually do anything for blockades, but you know, I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh, I might have made a horrible decision. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. I just wanted to help, please. How about we leave? That's a good idea. Okay, that is a siege. Good, 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 good. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't burn down the whole place. Uh, I think that's generally a bad idea. We'll let a little bit of looting happen as a treat. Okay, we're not looking so hot, but at least our enemies are very few. Should probably grab the war goal or else I think a white piece is forced. Yeah, we should do that. Just this one province here. We are so out of manpower, it sucks. We get 78 men per month. Anyway, yeah, it looks like the enemy doesn't really have a lot left going for them. Should we sack this? Mm, let's see, what do you have in here? We've already taken three slaves. Uh, you know, we've done enough damage, but on the other hand, money, you know? Let's see if we can grab that guy's capital as well. We'll just invade everybody. Why don't they just take everything in this war, actually? I can. And it's only four aggressive expansion. Land at a cheap and reasonable price. Satisfactory. Oh boy, that's a whole lot of words. Too bad, I'm not gonna read them. Uh, we'll just banish them, that's fine. You know, we might be conquerors, but we're not, like, evil. Not yet, at least. And we siege very quickly. Oh, they have no food supply. <laughs> they're, bro, they're literally starving, no. If we take this province, it'll be a mercy for them. We will feed the population, if they're lucky. <laughs> Speaking of feeding the population, <laughs> that's a pretty dire situation we've got going on in Rome. Why are we losing so much food exactly? Ah, it's winter. I'm stupid. <laughs> of course they don't have food. They can't grow anything. Okay, so can I like annex all of this as well? Just take that and that and yep, I could just annex the whole thing. There is no problem with this. All right, don't mind if I do. We can found a colonia and conquer territory. 
I don't know what that means, but sounds good, bro. Ah, oh, we're setting up a colonial capital. Okay. We have a couple places to choose from. Why not like Pisanum? Seems good to me. Coastal city. Might be a good idea. Trade. Something like that. I'm just going off of pure vibes. Oh, here we go. Rome or a subject. Borders Ancona. Who is that? This guy right here? Ancon. They do not like us very much. That's kind of reasonable. Well, we could just invade them. I mean, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll become a vassal. The Hellenes of Ancona have refused our demands, preferring to hide behind their walls with their laughable ideals of death before slavery. <laughs> ah, that can be arranged. Cult of Fortune settles down in Canusium. A what? Promise good fortune. Well, we have extra money. I don't even care. Why not? I'm not even going to verify. I'm just going to start believing people. Anyway, the Etruscans, you know what? They actually get special treatment. We're just going to like, uh, maybe kill all of them. Why not? Some might call this cruel. I call it a warning. A man approaches us with a request for a room and some help to write grand tale for the ages. He promises he will make sure to include Rome into the tale. I mean, he better. We're kind of like the main protagonist. <laughs> okay, and if we're done with the capital over there, we should be pretty much done with the Etruscans, right? Oh, although you do have stuff over here. Could be a shame to leave that. Yoink! We can take all of Etruria and, and nobody cares. Like, at all. Seriously, it's that simple. Hmm. All right. Naturally, we'll do the same thing for these guys. And just like that, we've defeated half our enemies. That wasn't so bad. It only took one more. Never mind the fact that we uh, might have killed off, like, you know, half the population of the country, but that's fine. That being said, we can disband all the levies, see what experience they've gained. And it's really not that much. Well, that's okay. We can get a governor for this place over here. This guy's pretty old. If anything bad happens, he'll die anyway. Longinensia calls for aid against Carthage. Wait, you want me to fight Carthage? Bro, I am not fighting Carthage right now. Are you serious? That's not happening. Now we have a lot more money, and I don't really know what to spend it on. I feel like I'm supposed to be building some buildings by now, though. Do you think maybe we could, instead of having barracks here, build like a farm so we don't have to import so much grain? What about the cities? How are they doing? We're almost at population capacity. Uh, you know what? On one hand, that's bad, but on the other hand, we don't have that much food. Maybe we can build like libraries. From what I remember, these are good. One academy, one library. Sure. We'll get some of that knowledge. Ah, uh, our subjects are not having a very good time. Fantania, what's your problem? How about you just shut up for a bit? Thank you. Oh my god, there's no way this guy's asking for more money. This better be the greatest epic I have ever read in my entire life. It better be written in gold. They seem relatively easy to invade, right? Never mind, we have no claims. <laughs> How about you? That should be child's play. Rebellious tendencies. The people of Marcia feel robbed after becoming a client state. What do you mean I've never done anything to you? You guys pay me one person a month. Here, take some money. That's fine. Oh, let's see it. The epic. It must be amazing, right? Grand Tale has been completed with Rome playing an important role in the tale of the hunt for the Golden Fleece. Okay, that's pretty cool. 5% tax for 20 years. Okay. You're off the hook for now. Oh yeah, you guys remember remember these guys? Remember how they said death would be preferable? Well, you know, we we are given the option. Oops. Yeah. Speaking of which, my finger has been known to uh, slip occasionally. You know, I've always admired the Imperator Rome graphics. Personally, I think it's one of like the prettiest games out of all the Paradox games that have ever released. You know, you can see the cities, you can see the ports, even you even see the seagulls. And if you wanted to, you can watch the city burn. We can probably invade these guys, right? Oh, this is going to be a massive conquest. Okay, let's get started then. We should be able to fight this, right? Just a couple of people. Yeah, that should be no problem. Oh, come on. Marcus is impatient. You want a key role in the government? How about you take a key role in your health, bud? You're 80 years old. Here, you want to have this position for like two years? That's fine. All right, we should be able to clean up that army. Oof, there they go. Okay, it's not that hard to siege that. Can somebody please help me on that, please? Any subject at all? Anybody? Needs a few hundred more people. Touched by Mercury. Uh, it sounds like a bad thing, but I'm pretty sure Mercury's a god. Now, that should be a stack wipe, right? There you go. So, presumably, that army is going to go and help that siege, right? I sure hope so. There's still 10,000 people left. And I'm pretty sure that's the whole alliance's army. Fortunately, we're pretty close to done. On the downside, our consul is an absolute idiot. He has the martial prowess of a young child. Speaking of battles, though, military traditions. Forgot these were a thing. Well, we get Roman right off the bat. Fantastic. Obviously, we're going with heavy infantry offense then. Oh, these guys have no food. Hold on a second. Yeah, they gotta leave. My armies are starving. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some new stuff, though. That's great. I know I was talking about aggressive expansion, but I'm definitely taking that. Can I maybe have a couple of, you know, legions, maybe, as a treat? Just a couple? When activated, we'll be able to raise a legion in the capital region. Ooh, I do like that. Oh, you know what's a good idea? Yeah, I'm gonna fight these guys. Why not? 
let's all just fight these guys. We get more inventions. Yeah, we'll go with less aggressive expansion. More martial advances. Ooh, that seems helpful. Defending liberty. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's call it that. <laughs> all right, let's beat these guys up. Those won't save you with that much morale. G, G. Okay, I'm just trying to siege something and these guys have the nerve, the brass to keep annoying me. Come here, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting you. First, I'm going to annex that guy, though. Yoink. Okay, and now it has to be over for these guys, right? Yeah, it turns out these uh, city-states are kind of a huge pain. Please, somebody help me siege this. We're running out of time, guys. We have to get this over with. Oh, what's wrong with you? Don't tell me you're disloyal. Come on, bro. Bro, come on. Yeah, you want you want you want you want some money? I know you like money. Come on, you know you want some money. Now do your job. My subjects are literally too stupid to siege anything. I'm gonna have to do it all myself. I don't care about what they siege down. I just have to siege things. I'm sure I can even split off some units, right? Here, we'll send off these guys. They can go and help that siege. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and just annex that free city. Boink. We have another uh, 500, maybe 400 or so days until the war just kind of ends itself. Yeah, the, my subjects are entirely incapable of sieging things. Glad to see some consistency across Paradox AI. Oh yeah, we really don't have that much time. I'm gonna get this guy down here to try and siege something this direction. Oh, and we have a civil war looming. Oh god, please. Who is this guy? How do you have so much power? You don't own anything. Uh, okay, fine. Here, uh, have have something in office that'll make you happy, right? Tragically, we won't be able to take everything. Yeah, if I let one more day pass, we're just not going to get everything. We'll get like maybe one province and that would suck. So I guess we'll have to peace out like this. Well, it's not that bad. Still some decent land. And we've crushed the Samnites, which is great. As long as that truce lasts, seven years, I can live with that. We're expanding quite rapidly, though. I really wish the mission gave me some things to build, not just conquer. That would be quite nice. Oh, right, I can change my laws, right? Oh yeah, I can raise a legion. Let's do that. What exactly do we want in a legion? Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, heavy infantry, for sure. I'll go with that. Supply trains, probably a good idea. Maybe some engineers? Sure, okay. We have plenty of money, so I guess heavy cavalry is not a big deal. Maybe a couple of archers as well. I could see that. Our first permanent army. I'm no expert in ancient warfare. I'm just guessing. It's time for us to drive the Gauls out. Wait, is that why they call that Cisalpine Gaul? Because, like, Gaul wasn't just France? Oh, that's crazy. You learn something new every day. Anyway. Publius, uh, what's your problem? You want office? Ugh. What's with all these old guys wanting a political office? Bro, you're gonna last five years tops. Oh shoot, there are so many people named Publius, I don't remember who he was. Here we go, new ruler. 8958, much better. Fortunately, we have the Legion to take over military problems. That's not really much of an issue. Wait a second, the Consul is Publius is the guy we gave a job to. <laughs> That's crazy. More martial advances, available decisions. Expanding the Campus Martius. That is pretty expensive, but it seems permanent. So maybe not a bad idea. Ah, okay. So when we siege something, where we fight some battles, we have chances of getting some distinctions. So we get this one, which is 10% siege ability. Okay. That's pretty solid. Anyway, I think that's uh, pretty much everything, right? Here, let me grab that. Don't really care much about that part. That turns us into a major power, since we have over 100 territories. And we can annex these guys, right? Or not? Ah, because we didn't siege this. Boy, I'll be taking all that. And I'll take that. And finally, what we came here for. Okay, not bad. Kind of ruined our name placement, though. That's kind of sad. <laughs> I'm sure if we invade this guy, that'll fix it. So, uh, you know, might as well. Anyway, we have vanquished the Lucanians. I don't exactly know why, but something happened. Ah, Syracuse took all that. Okay, I'll probably have to kill them, but that's fine. We've also driven out the Gauls, which we can do the same thing with. Then we need to own Petalia. Destroy the Apulians. And how long exactly on that truce? Oh, we don't have a truce. I see. Well, <laughs> in that case. Yeah, just don't, don't even bother. It's over. Ah, here we go. More military traditions. We'll go with siege ability. All right, we'll take that. My name is now big, which means I'm winning. If we invade these guys, I'm pretty sure we'll finish off that mission, right? Honestly, the fact that we didn't the first time, kind of embarrassing. Destroy Apulians. Now to tame the Brutians, we're going to have to fight Syracuse. Ah, yeah, that's fun. 
You have a defensive league. How did you convince them to do that? Ah, uh, well, whatever. I'm sure we'll be able to beat them. I'll just declare for this guy, take stuff from Syracuse. Although I have the feeling this might require a little more than just the legions. Come on, please let me get this siege. Please, 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 please. Oh, what are my subjects doing? They're idiots. Why, why would you fight that? Am I going to fight that? Oh, he's already locked in. Oh, he's stupid. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely winning that. It's over. Funny enough, we can actually march faster than an enemy can retreat. Free stack wipe, I guess. That's cool. There we go. Yoink. All right, that is Southern Italy, or whatever they would call it. Magna Graecia, is that it? All right, we have at least 50 mainland territories in the region of Italia, and at least 25 in Magna Graecia. So we get two free province investments and one of four specializations for the Roman Colonia modifier. Romanize the locals might not be a bad idea. Actually, I think that's a very good idea. Oh, we also have two options between Italic Citizenship or Roman Hegemony. I suppose we could go with Citizenship, just so we can integrate our tributaries or whatever they're called. Lose 30 stability for that, though? You have to be joking. All right, well, let's improve some opinions. Maybe we can just integrate them. Oh, I guess we could probably change our stance now, couldn't we? If we change it to domineering, yes, we'll have increased subject opinion. That's a good idea. We'll integrate you, and we shall integrate you. The reason I'm doing it this way is because my subjects would take longer to integrate if I went with hegemony. But I'm not going to spend 30 stability on that. Oh, I completely forgot about these guys. Whoops. Um, we should probably also integrate Pompeii. Oh, Okay, <laughs> I don't even get the choice, really. I pretty much have to set Sabellians to citizen rights. Who are those exactly? These guys, right, right, okay. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, and now that we're starting the integration of our last subject, I'm totally fine with going with hegemony. Beautiful Roman hegemony. For 25 years, the other cultures won't like us, but that's okay, because we do not care. We can finish the mission, which gives us a whole lot more. But I think for an Imperator Rome video, it's probably a good place to end things off. Honestly, this game is actually pretty good. I'm sad that they didn't decide to continue working on it, but it makes sense because there really weren't a lot of people playing. Except me. I'm one of them. And maybe you should too. For the small price of I have no idea, I do not have a promo code for you. You should just play the game. Uh, make sure you play with the mod though, because without it, there's really not that much to do. It would be really funny if we could push the Imperator Rome player count to above a thousand for at least one 24-hour peak. That's all I'm asking for. Just a thousand simultaneous players. So when this video releases, when you're done watching this, if you have Imperator Rome, why not boot it up? Just play it for a couple of hours. Maybe all together we can make history. <laughs> but for now, I'm Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. A big thank you to the patrons this month who all receive early access, including Baby Cal, Isaac, Cravat, Nick Steffel, Q Brute, Quiet Guy, Torvald, Ambient Cyan, Robert Kaleno, James Levy, Luke, Chewy Shoot, The Watcher, Brova, Robert, and Jamie.